Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting for when you might wake up. You probably already noticed that you're tied to a chair and you have a blindfold covering your eyes. You probably don't know me. That's all right. You don't have to know me. You should know. You're in deep shit here. You're in a den of wolves. <sighs> Don't try to struggle. The barbed wire will cut deeper into your skin if you keep trying to wriggle out of your bindings. That's much better. Just stay put. It's best to listen to the Alpha anyway. So tell me something, little lamb. Why did you try to flee? Why did you attempt escaping? You know it's pointless, futile, and will come to no avail. You wouldn't believe me when I tell you that there were many people I had to tear to shreds in order to get the information I needed, in order to track you down. It was fun watching the ribbons of their entrails dotting the forest floor in the loveliest of patterns. <sighs> huh? What's the matter? You're dealing with the Alpha here. No one else. You should be honored, kissing the ground I walk, but no. You're just my captive for now. How about we remove the blindfold? Let's lift the veil and meet face to face at long last. Hi there. Recognize me now? <laughs> no. That's a real fucking shame. You should know me. We've known each other for ages. But your memory might be a little fuzzy. That's all right, sweetheart. Hey, why are you quivering? I won't hurt you. I don't see why I should unless you give me a proper reason why I need to. It's up to you, though. What will it be? We can either continue this pleasant conversation or cut this short by having my canines and claws creating red angry marks on your skin, causing a river of blood to escape from your lovely blue veins. What do you say? Ah, that got your attention. <laughs> I thought it might. Yes, I'm not afraid to use such drastic measures. But you may be agreeable yet. We'll see. So, you must have some questions, don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, 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 ah. Careful. Step out of line and I'll consider cutting that tongue of yours out. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Relenting to my dominance because you know the Alpha's rule is the only thing you'll ever heed to. My call, my order, my command, my demand is all you will listen to, all you will heed, all you will answer to, 
is me. Is that clear? Good. I'm glad to hear we're on the same page. <laughs> you want to know why you're here, right? Well, it's your lucky day, I suppose. I have the answers you're looking for. I'm the only one who can answer you. I mean, sure, perhaps one of my betas could do it. But not as well as I, their alpha, can. You're here for a reason. One simple reason. Do you want to know what that reason is? Are you sure? Very well then. Don't say I didn't warn you or anything. It's because you are mine. Oh yes, yes. You heard me correctly. I didn't stutter. You are Mine. What's the matter? Getting cold feet? Oh, but we've barely even started. You'd be surprised how much fun we can have together. I mean, you are being held captive here. We're too far away from civilization for anyone to hear you scream. What a pity. What a pity indeed. For you. <laughs> and even if you did call out for help, who would hear you? Who would come to your aid? That's right. No one. So, are you going to run? No? How do I know I can trust your word? You seem lost, little lamb. You have nowhere to go. No one is going to save you. All you can do is give up, give in, and surrender. Oh, you ask why? Why am I doing all of this? <sniffs> For the protection of the pack, little lamb. Aside from keeping close eyes on you from the shadows, I've been noticing that you joined that pathetic band of hunters. Yes, they're after werewolves, for our hide and bone. They want to eradicate our existence. Mm, funny thing is, it won't work. They read their books, they do their research, but it's all useless. Werewolves aren't an easy race to discern weakness. We are a proud race that embrace our primal instincts to prowl during the day and night. Our howling force can be heard across the lands when night falls. Other packs follow us because we are the origins. We are the first pack to have ever been formed. You, on the other hand, my darling little lamb, still a weak human, so powerless, so defenseless in a place amongst wolves. You were a sacrifice.
Do you think your fellow hunters give a damn about you? They led me right to you! For a reason aside from my own, that is. They wanted to get rid of you. They knew you were the weakest of the litter. They recognized that you were the runt that wouldn't make any dent in their intentions. Oh. What's wrong, little Leia? Did I strike a nerve? <laughs> I would hope so. You have nowhere to go. Nowhere to look for any route of escape. You really should just give up now. Yet you still fight. Do you honestly think it's the best idea to fight me? Fighting the power of the Alpha is rather foolish. I thought you were better than that, my dear little lamb. Oh, hush. I'm only taking steps closer to you in order for us to be face to face with one another. Ah, 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 ah. I'm not letting you out of the restraints just yet. I don't think I can trust you yet anyway. Now look up at me. Look up at the Alpha. Yes. You like what you see, I'm sure. You wouldn't be the first human to say so. However, flattery won't work with me. Do you see this hardened gaze? You see this muscle underneath my Alpha garb? I can easily snap your throat with one snap of my fingers. You're nothing compared to me and the rest of my pack. So why, little lamb, should I let you go? I mean, we've only started our song and dance here. I was hoping it would last a little longer than this. Oh, what's wrong, little lamb? You had such bravado before. Where did all of your fire go? Where did all of your bravery vanish to? Did it leave you? Once you stared into my dominant gaze? Did it flee right when you noticed how pathetically weak you are compared to me? I thought as much. Well, my little lamb, I have some good news for you, but I also have some bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Uh, uh, uh. I wouldn't look down at your feet if I were you, my darling little lamb. You should look up. Keep staring into my eyes as you become a submissive puddle. Only wanting to please your alpha. Only wanting to answer to your Alpha, only wanting to stay by your Alpha's side. Now tell me, little lamb, what news do you want to hear first? Ah, that's a wonderful choice, I suppose. The bad news is that you're not going to be leaving here. You're stuck here for good. <laughs> what? 
Do you honestly think I would let you go after I finally have you here all for myself? Well, that's tough, sweetheart. We all don't want unfortunate things to happen in our lives. We can't control what fate brings us. <sighs> now, my beautiful little lamb, here's the good news. I have something for you. Consider it an Alpha's gift. Do you see this? Yes. This item I'm holding in my hands. It's a collar etched with the Alpha Pax insignia. This will be going around your neck. How does that sound? Oh, my precious little lamb. Your eyes lit up at the mention of it. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you want to be mine. And then again, you could also be faking it. I can't take any risks, you know? I have a pack to protect after all. I can't allow any potential harm to come to it. I don't care what sacrifices I have to make. It is my duty as the Alpha to protect them with tooth and claw. Now, my little lamb, this is going around your throat. There we go. You look a lot better with that collar on you. Now, you'll forever be my little lamb.